The 167 billion kwacha 2023 national budget was presented with notable increases or additions in various sectors. Among the additions announced include a further recruitment in health and education sectors. An increase of 401 million kwacha yeah. from this year's allocation. Yeah. This means that yeah. each constituency yeah. will now get yeah. 28.3 million kwacha. Yeah. The public pension sector saw a reform that has been long overdue. You retire today, the three months to process your papers, after the three months, you get paid your terminal benefits. However, there was no mention for the historical civil servants who left employment in 1997. International Monetary Fund IMF induced program that saw mandatory and voluntary separation of civil servants from government. The former government workers, some of whom have died, have not been paid by government for more than 23 years. Now you can imagine such a sad story. People worked for the government, they gave their services to the government to run the government machinery, but at the end of the day, they are dying in a, a very poverty-stricken way. The ascending of the United Party for National Development UPND Party into government in 2021 raised hopes among the group members. But in its second budget, there is no mention of the group that leaves the status quo as it is without a clear roadmap on the settling of arrears for these former government employees. Myself, I don't think I when I last a decent deal. I don't know. It is only hope that government will this time around attend to the plight of these workers. For more VTV News, I'm Kaputula Afias in Lusaka.